Hi guys, welcome to my solo run of this week's featured Master Nightfall, which is the Lightblade. So I'm going to be doing it on the Hunter. Surprise, surprise. Uh, you, you can see the fragments and the aspects that I'm using. I went with Arbalist for uh, Anti-Barrier, or uh, Katanta for my Unstoppable, and Tarantula for my Heavy. Omnioculus is my my uh exotic so that i kind of tell you why i'm using that but i'm pretty sure everybody knows from the reputation of this strike why i'm using that uh i'm going to give a complete rundown of all my uh mods and that as you can see here you guys can have a look at them you can see all the mods that i'm using uh and and if you want to copy this run, then that gives you an idea of exactly what I'm using. So I went with the Katanta because I didn't want to use a pulse. I wanted an arc weapon to deal with adds. Because obviously you've got a cute burning in the strike. So you take 50% more arc and you deal 25% more. Arbalist is getting a nerf, but it's not getting nerfed this season. So I figure we get we get a run out of it before it gets a nerf because you just can't fight these these champions you, you and 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 i'm not sure i would get enough heavy to be able to deal the damage i need to just using heavy so right off the bat in this room you're gonna have the boss as you've seen four shots from the tarantula i've got a major spec on my tarantula as well because it's it's more for champions uh four shots on his head makes him go so i put four on him and as you would have seen immediately there's a there was a champion on the right hand side i took him there were two champions and two of these revenant knights in this area after that it's just a whole slew of acolytes so now that i've got that out of the way let's talk a little bit about about what to expect in here because this the strike itself is very straightforward what makes it very difficult and i think this really showcases the problems with having acute burn and limitations on on champion weapons uh, is the acute but just everything's gonna hurt you so much in this strike in, in the boss room it really is uh, hide and seek to a degree because the boss does arc the champions do arc and then you've got uh, the lucent bridge you've got the lucent hive that the hive wielding the worst ones, actually, if, 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 if I'm to be honest. And I've said this before. The Sentinel-wielding knights are the worst because they've got... I think in one of the runs I've done on this, one of them threw four suppressant grenades almost back-to-back. -back. That is extreme. They can kill you. The super... The super is quite... As long as you're not... As long as the knight doesn't know where you are, the super's harmless. But the minute he gets an eyeball on you, those things now are tracking. <laughs> they will track your position. They'll try and get as close to you as possible. Then you've got those little... Uh, they're, they're, like, they're like angry little Thunder Crash Titans. <laughs> they're like tons of angry little Thunder Crash Titans coming after you. Because the Lucent Moths can kill you if they explode next to you. Just so much about this is... It's not so much about strategy... It's more about movement. It's about where to be. And and the master was really tough because attrition's on. Uh, adds throw more grenades and the grenades weaken you. And you've got that acute burn. So attrition and the acute burn. Give me a break. <laughs> In this strike, give me a break. But, you know, I, I haven't gave the GM as many attempts as, as I would have liked. Because... Man, I just don't know if I can go through the dis. I, I have given it some, and I got to the boss room. I got to the cave above the area outside the boss room. Thought I was fine. Was picking up ammo and reloading, and I must have missed one of the lucent moths, and it killed me. That kind of, I was like, oh man, you know, I I, I try never to be negative in in my videos, and I'm not going to be. Hence why I left this 24 hours almost before I'd done the commentary because this strike is, it is very frustrating. The modifiers on Master make it very frustrating. You guys will be aware that GMs have set modifiers and the Masters have rotating modifiers. Anytime togetherness or attrition are on, it just makes solo play uh, not impossible, obviously, because I've done it, but just makes it really difficult whereas the gm 
it's you know I'm not going to go go into depth about that because this isn't a grandmaster run, uh, but we'll cover that in this nightfall video. I keep saying I'm going to put out and 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 I keep trying to make sure I'm not talking gibberish. So it will be out this week because man, I'm not even guaranteed to get this grandmaster done. So. You know, I will try and get a themed run done. You know, I like to support that each week. And then we'll maybe have a look at the GM. So, I'm, I'm definitely going to get that Nightfall video out this week. So, when you come in here, you are going to have uh, a Lucent Hive. As you've seen, we've just taken them down. You're going to have two Barrier Champions. Most of the time, you will get to take the two Barrier Champions in the centre. Now, you see that didn't happen for me there. Because one of them had went. How I get them in the centre most of the time is immediately I come into this room and I go down the stairs to the right uh, to take out the wizard that was below us. And what that does is the Lucent Hive will teleport to the side you're on and the two champions normally stay in the mid. If you then go to the left hand side, normally one of the champions will spawn to the left. Now, once you take down that champion and I'll just kill with this guy. Once you take down the two champions uh, take down the two champions and a select amount of the the acolytes you will then get a second knight but you also get a bunch of acolyte a bunch of uh, thrall there will be some acolytes floating about once you take down the thrall and the lucent hive and some of the you don't have to even take down all the acolytes but I think it's like 90% of them I think if you leave one or two up you get a third knight, and this time you get two revenant, uh, light blade, uh, I call them revenant knights, but they're not really. Now, you'll have, what you'll have noticed, something that I've just, just, just recently started doing, after I take the two champions and I take the first lucent hive, I wanted to know where the thrall were coming from. They actually come from a ledge up top on the left. So as soon as that you want to take any of the any of the thrall, any of the acolytes down in the middle that you're taking. You want to take from up here, so that you're in the the right place to take. You need to be up here to take him down, to take the second light blade warrior. Right? I just throw my grenade there so I can get the stun because the grenade kind of stuns them. So two champions, loose, uh, light baron hive, come up here, take some acolytes down. That will bring out the second Lucent Hive. And then what we do there, you'll have seen I threw a grenade up to the left, left of where I am now, up on a ledge up on the left. And then fire my super at him. Once we take once once I take the second Lucent Hive down, take out the acolytes that should push you, and then you get the third knight who comes out with those light bearers buddies. Seems simple enough, right? It's a hell of a room though. It's a hell of a room on Grandmaster. I'm not going to talk about the Grandmaster, but even on Master. Master, it's not so punishing in that room, if I'm being honest. Uh, because of strategy, because knowing what's coming next and being able to counter some things, like taking all those thrall makes it easier, because with having the knights outside, it's kind of difficult to get out and finish the ghost. So if you can take one of those arc-shielded knights when the third uh, Lucent Hive comes out, then it makes it easier. So when you get up here, uh, you're going to have two champions. There are the barrier champions in this strike massively outweigh the unstoppables. There are two unstoppables, and there are about 87 barriers. No, there's not. That. I, I don't actually know how many barriers there are. Two in the first room, two here, uh, two in the, the the very first area. So that's six. And then eight, there's like 12 barriers or something. 12 barriers. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight. Listen, hi. It's just so much. So once you've took out those two champions, I normally, I've got Listen Finisher on, so I, I like to finish one of the barriers. And that just gets me heavy, keeps me topped up. Now what I'm doing is, I, you don't have to kill these guys. Because you're moving, the shots are going to be like, the, the shots might hit, but the grenades won't. It's this guy. Make sure you take him out quickly. Once you've took the Shrieker out, you will have two Acolytes. One left and one right. Make sure you take them out 
and then get off here. You will be shot from up top. It's all good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang fire and t because uh, attrition isn't like together. It kind of is like togetherness, except not. It is punishing, but it's not as punishing. It slows down your health regeneration. You can see there. It really slows your health regeneration down. But uh, if you're getting. Uh, if you're getting these little fonts of light, what it does is it it doesn't give you, it gives you constant health regeneration for an extended period of time. So, if you're standing here, the first time this happened to me, I am not gonna lie, I thought I messed myself. When I seen that disc coming towards me, I was like, and and it was almost, I almost accepted that I was gonna die. But if you're right against that wall. That is the edge of the, the shield throw, so he, he can't hit you from over the other side. So you kind of want to, to a degree, you want to uh, kind of take his, bait his super. So what we're going to do is, he's finishable. So if I finish him, I go invisible, it's one of the fragments, like I've already said. You can have a look at the fragments and the aspects, but one of them is, finishing an enemy makes you uh, go invisible. I think you get for a finish, I think you get like seven seconds because I've got dodging makes me go invisible and then uh, devour, overshield and invisibility depending on what subclass you're on because those, those aspects are the same I think uh, or those fragments, sorry, the fragments are the same uh, they last longer so I think I get seven seconds for a, for a finish I think when I do the quick fall I think I get 10 seconds and it's the same if I'm in my super and I dodge because I've got gambler's dodge on if I dodge near an enemy to get my smoke back I also go invisible and I think I get about the same there I think I get about I think it refreshes it to about 9 seconds so as you can see here I am utilizing you don't have to when you're on the hunter you can just go invis and uh Refresh your invis with dodge. I think if you do that, you've got like 40 seconds of invis, or maybe even 50, because you might get your dodge back after the second lot of smoke, the last smoke. Uh, you will get pulled out of this once. So that's why I'm facing this way. So I've just used the chair emote to emote into this kind of back part of the ship. It doesn't look like it here, but you can, see, you can slightly see the animation kept pulling forward. And then because I was facing the right way, uh, because I was facing the right way, all I had to do was pull backwards. Now, you see there, because he opened up, I wasn't taking the chance. So we'll dodge, we'll get our smoke back. Uh, and, and you could do that the whole way. Now, I don't utilize this portal thing. I don't even know what, I don't even know how to use it, to be fair. I always ride the ship here, and then I jump off up here. And I just let the thrall run past me. Make sure you're on either the left or the right of the doorway. If you're right in front of the doorway, these thrall, when they come off, they will drag you across. Now you, my, my, I would suggest going this side of the door. You, you can see the whole ship. Every now and again, one of these thrall will come out and they'll go, eh? But because you've got an arc hand cannon, it's one headshot because I've got time pay payload. It's one headshot, two bodies. So most of the time, the thrall will just... They, they, they won't pay any attention. So we'll just finish all the thrall. Uh, when you finish them all, you do get a kind of notification. You also get an audit, you see there, new objective. The ship won't leave until you're on it, and you get a whole heap of ammunition. You're going to be cool. So, now we're a section that can be quite annoying. I done this, I originally was going to do this on the Warlock because I didn't want to do it on the Hunter. I got to the boss, boss room is pretty punishing when you can't, when he can see you and all the ads can follow you around the map. It's just really stupid. Uh, I, I, I got pretty annoyed with it so I decided to just do it like this. Doing it like this, you see here I'll get a dodge, get my smoke back. If You see I've got my smoke back because I'm going to get my dodge faster than the smoke. What I decided to do, I'll take my weight of darkness off me, and then I'm off. Uh, at a certain point, I think I just forget about uh, 
forget about the the lanterns and just go my own route when I feel like I can my invis will last long enough. Now, don't just burn your invis. Try and save for when you see these lucent moths, right? See, the minute I seen them looking like they were gonna activate, I, I went invis. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, right, okay, I have two I had two smokes and a dodge. I might not get uh, another smoke from my my dodge. You know, I might not be able to dodge next to an enemy, so I'm going to use my smoke. Get all my weight of darkness off me. Just about. I thought I thought I did have it all. I didn't. Now there's more lucent moths there. My as you see now, my dodge gave me something like seven seconds of invis, which I knew would be enough to get me close to the exit. And I'm cool. That's the way I done it. I used my invis, made sure that I was getting close to the close to the lanterns to take my weight of darkness off me. Now when you get up here, you'll have the first of your unstoppables. Now I got it wrong, actually. There's three unstoppables. This is your first one. Now uh, there's a there, there is a bunch of ads up here, hence why I stopped stopped the uh, the unstoppable, but never went after them because there's a bunch of these uh, ravagers that with their stasis kind of lanterns so i'm just wanting to make sure none of them gets a chance to get close to me the other thing you'll see here and you'll see me shoot a couple of them is there is a host of uh little arc bombers these uh lucent moths just make sure and you'll see me do it because i've been burnt but it was it was on master it was on gm this is where i got to i got past the champion got to the top of there and i recorded it because i thought it glitched out actually i thought i'd just died for no reason or that a scree, because sometimes you get screebs here, that a screeb had went under the floor and exploded. But when I watch back the recording, uh, just to the right of where I've shot, right up in that right-hand corner, there was a lucent moth hiding. And because I never had my game volume up, it activated and chased me and I, I never heard it. Silly, silly. So make sure you, you're looking for those kind of blue expl... You know, you'll see, you, you guys know what they look like, right? I don't have to... They're like blue and they're like flashy and stuff. You guys know what they look like. So, you're going to have a bunch of ads at the top here. You just, you see there, it kind of gives you a little bit of a visual to tell you where those moths are. So, I'm not sure if that's the last one, but I'm just going to throw a grenade up the top, see what I can get. And there's a few of the stalkers up there. Some, as, as I say, sometimes, sometimes you'll get exploders. I can see a green brick there, so I'm just gonna burn a, a little bit of arbalist. Now the hand cannon with time payload is really good. So there might still, there is still one up there. There he is. Be careful because, as you'll have seen if you look through the mods, we've set ourselves up for arc and solar damage. So void damage is gonna feel a little bit stronger than usual because. Uh, we're not set up against it. So, when you get here, you see a new objective. Defeat the Lucent Hive. So, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to put some shots on top of uh, LL Cool J over there. Let me just get them to go. I'm not wanting to burn too much of the one ammo brick. There we go. There he goes. So, they're, they're, they're normally, the way this works, there's normally two Hive up there. And then, as you can see, there's two Shriekers. We'll take this guy, the the enemies downstairs, they activate the shriekers, right? There's the other listen, the other acolyte. There we go. So there's no acolytes up top. I'm kind of hoping for more heavy than anything else. So I'll throw my grenade, and we're gonna it's it's hit the just the normal ads of it. Now for some reason, that is right on the crit, and it, it, it I was getting nothing. I don't know why that happened. I waste a couple of heavy there. But uh, it kind of works out okay because I do get uh, I do get quite a bit of heavy from down here, I think. So tether these guys. I'll just take them out. And now what we're left with, bigger ads, is two unstoppables. There's one ogre and there's one abomination. Uh, a couple of those... Uh, ravagers lying about so what we're gonna do is i don't really want to burn too much ammunition because i don't know what i'm gonna get yet when i get down there 
so this this is a knight that's kind of there he is and there we go there he goes uh no i can see i've got heavy so and i can see that i thought i actually only reason i started shooting is because i thought the other guy was dead so throw a grenade on them now when they're in such close proximity one shot stops both of them now as you've seen uh we're left with the abomination i'm gonna try and get him finishable just so that i can guarantee myself a bit more heavy now as you can see he is he has ran away i'll just make sure i'm reloaded thought he was coming back there so jump back up but he isn't so we're gonna head down to the right trying to keep us give ourselves as much cover as possible and then once he's down there'll still be a couple of ravagers but that's about it. We've took all the main enemies. So he's round the back there. I'll just move up. See, I'm being tentative because hey, you don't want you don't want to die here. There we go. That's him. Get what heavy and we and we got special. So <clears throat> and as you can see, I've got a ton of special. So I'm just gonna switch to my hand cannon. And just finish off the last of these. There we go. That's all the ads now. And now we are down to the boss. So uh, put your hands over your eyes. It's time to play hide and seek. <laughs> you've got to give me. You've got to give me to the count of ten to go and hide first. It's. I don't mind using this as a strategy, but I think everybody just about uses this as a, as a strategy. So not that I have a problem. I have a problem with. That this is the accepted way to do it is to stay invisible so that you can't so you don't die it's not so you don't get shot you know which I, I kind of is the same thing it's so that you don't die so the real strategy works here you'll see the boss has got uh a couple of uh he's got a couple of health bars right three health bars there's there's the first set of throw and i will immediately Go invis. I'll come back, just hang about here, dodge to get my smoke back. Now, I said this before in uh, Glassway. So I'm looking at the red the redness on, on my on my uh, mini map, if you like, my mini radar. If they are bright, they're on the same level that I'm on. If they are slightly dulled out, it means they're below me. There'll be a ton of exploders on the floor here. I am not bothered too much about the exploders. It's these guys I want dead. So I'm in my head. I, th I and I'm still I'm still unsure because I done this run last night. I think I think there might be one left. So what I'm gonna do is smoke and dodge. I'm just trying to make sure that all the thrall are dead before before I go after uh, LL. Now, the, uh, you've probably seen this strategy before, but let me explain how the strategy works. When he jumps across, I am going to jump across. Right? If he jumps down you have onto the floor and doesn't follow me straight away, you have to be careful. Because sometimes he will get down on the floor and just immediately start, start uh, trying to get you start trying to melt you when you get him about halfway you're gonna get more throw uh you see there if he jumps down onto the floor there's a chance he's gonna go after you but if you position yourself right he can't hit you you'll hit the edge so we're just i'm just trying to kind of pick, see there we get my next lot of, of uh ads coming in and this time they all just about went into the grenade so now i can keep him i can keep him uh i can keep him interested by doing the jumpy thing you've got to really time your jump you've really got to get off there as soon as he gets on because he won't waste any time so now i'll switch to the obelisk he's nearly gone out of his first health bar when he goes you're gonna get your lucent uh hive and you're gonna get two arc knights if you stay on the platform for too long when he lands on the platform, uh, he'll, he'll try and do like a sword attack on you. 
I'm just trying to reload. There we go. I think the next shot should do it. There we go. When that, even though he's going to jump up to me here, right? I'm just going to throw my nade. I threw it too early. And what I'm going to try and do is... I never even got a chance because I didn't know which ad to go for, if I'm being honest. I'm suppressed, that's why I can't smoke. Uh, I, could, I couldn't smoke. So this is the idea of keeping the exploders up, right? A lot of people kill them. But if you're running about here... Uh, if you're running about doing the wild thing around here, then it makes sense that you keep your... Uh, so we're just going to fire our super on him real quick. There we go. And now because I've got the tether here, I, I didn't mind too much. Uh, going for the... the, the going for the finishing the ghost now if you've got lucent finisher on this is another thing that's worthwhile and i think i might have already said it before uh and again i'm pretty sure all of you you're all learned enough that you'll probably work this one out for yourself when you finish if if you finish the 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 the, the actual hive if you finish the actual night i'm not sure if you get i'm not sure if you get heavy I think it works off the ghost, but you guys can let me know in comments. Do you get heavy when you finish? I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. Maybe you do. I'm just gonna. So because there's another thing that's worthwhile mentioning, uh, uh, because this is light blade, and it kinda, uh, the light blade Alaku was a strike boss in D1, uh, and this, the whole idea of him being light blade is, is kind of a play on what he was in D1. He was the dark blade. But because now that the hive have the the light, it's kind of they played into that. He's, the other room he had was completely dark and it was brilliant. It was the best strike in the game. This with the modifiers, the new acute burn. <clears throat> excuse me, the new acute burn. I mean, I, I don't want I, I don't want to be too melodramatic, but I would almost go as far as to say the burn shows why having what they've got in the game at the moment isn't so great so now that when you kill when you kill the two arc knights you're now going to get your first two champions and they both come in with i think three acolytes it is not worth attacking these knights these champions until you've took down at least some of of the knight of the acolytes because you'll see here I managed to tether, which basically got rid of the the a few of the the acolytes. But it is not worth attacking the champion until you've took down the acolytes, unless you've got a super. So that that uh, that was one of the champions. Now you see there, I'm in cover, but there is. An acolyte behind me, which very close to dying now. You really, and this is why I keep saying this and have said it. This strike is not so much its strategy, but because the ads move, and although you can predict their movement to a degree, uh, now I'm going to take the acolytes. I'm looking to see there's another acolyte. Boss is going to fire at me. I'm just going to try and move a little bit because the reason why I, I moved a bit before before going in is the boss will follow you if he sees you go invisible. So I'll take out another one of these guys. Go in -vis. See, he's seen me over there. He's seen me shooting. I'm just wait and get my dodge. If he actually watches you, sometimes he, he almost predicts where you're going, shoots in the direction you're going to run in. So I jumped up. Now I'm just kind of hiding a little bit because I want to take out some of these acolytes. I can't bother take... I, I can't take the champion, as you've already seen, if the acolytes are going to be there. So I'll get my dodge again. Now we're over on the same side as him. So we need to find out where the boss is. Boss has jumped down. So now I've decided we're just going to go for it. Three of the heavy kills the 
kills a champion, right? I haven't been doing that. I've been doing two and some obelisk simply to get, you know, to save heavy. But three shots with a major spec kills, kills the kills a champion. So I'm just checking now to see what we've got up. If all the acolytes are dead, the champions are dead, we can start getting them. Uh, I'm just going to dodge here and then do a boost. Now, you know, he knows where I am. And he knows where I am because I, uh, I've done a boost jump. He can Ads in this game, they are activated by audio. So, as long as you're doing single jumps, you won't activate ads that are trying to, try to follow you. So I kind of try and wait until I see him jumping, because I don't want to jump. I don't want to just predict that he's going to jump. If I wait until he actually jumps, then I know where he's going. See? And if he jumps down, down on the floor there, and I just jump straight away, I went invis because... We've we've just about got him and we've just about got his damage, just about got his health down. You see there, he seen me. It was really really silly. You've got to be invis when you're moving. Now I've got to wait for my health to come back because we've almost got him into his into his uh, cocoon state again. So I've just I'm just having a look down here to see if there's any any. Uh, Orbs, because him being the light blade, he drops orbs on the floor. So now we'll get him up here. Try and get him back into this uh, this mode of jumping, because we should get we should get a whole bunch of throw in a minute. And just put a shot on him there. You know, jump up. And again, and now I've just missed the sword attack. Got to be really careful with this, though. It can be quite nerve-wracking when you turn around and he's aiming at you. <laughs> so, there we go. His head's come off. Now we've got another set of champions. So, I dodged. I'm just going to grab this ammunition. Now, I've still got two smokes, so I'm going to use a smoke. And then try and get a dodge here. I'm really kind of cutting it fine here because everybody's coming. There we go. Now I've got my two smokes again. Now I can move away. So now we're playing this waiting game again. Take down the, take down the acolytes. You need to try and keep the boss's location. You, you need to try and make sure you know where the... There's the boss. And it, the minute it seems like any of the ads see you, you're in trouble. So now I will go smoky, run back, try and dodge near an enemy. I try and leave it as close to me running out of uh, invis as possible. I would say, uh, I thought I actually thought I was really close there. So I'm just going to try and kill some of these guys. And then I'm not going to take the chance. See, here he comes. I just hold off. Two champions over there. Get the dodge. Keep my invis going. Plenty of ammunition, special and stuff. I, I maybe could be doing with a bit more heavy. But again, cross to the other side. Um, as I say, that's what we're trying to do is take the acolytes down. If I get to isolate a champion, see, there was a really good call there because... Even though I, you know, I, I could have went after that champion, I didn't know where the boss was. You have to know where the location of your enemies are. It's just, you know, and the minute one of them spots you, they'll all come after you. So, I'm looking here to see if, if any of them have moved away. He's shooting over there. There's, there's a barrier. I don't know where the boss is though. So now the champion's gonna see me, which means I could get a bit of heat. 
but uh, I was inviting the heat on because I didn't know where the boss was. So now I am going to have to go over the other side. For some reason, this champion is now lobbing shots over here. He 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 obviously hasn't had the memo. Right now, I'm going to try and take him. One, two, there we go. So that's one champion gone. Now I knew where the boss was. Uh, still, I still took a chance because I didn't know where all the other enemies were. But I felt like I knew where the boss was. The other champion was with the boss. Uh, and I could... I mean, I've got enough special line about. So see, I'm really... This is... A, I'm really being opportunistic here. And there we go. Because the Arbalist will kill a champion, as you've seen there. From a decent range with four shots. And he's dropped some heavy. I'll dodge, get my, my super back. Oh, happy days. So... Now what we've got to do is take out the last couple of acolytes and then we can go back to we can go back to uh, run at hide and seek. I missed all my shots there. What? Apart from being like, oh, I'm such a bad shot. I wasn't too bothered about doing that. It's not like, you know, we do want to conserve some ammo. Uh, we'll just do that and then we know we've got these guys down here that we can get a cheeky dodge from move out of his eye line just in case I become visible which I did but I was out of his eye line so he couldn't see and that's really so now because even though I became visible it's not like he's got x-ray vision he will only see you if, if you become visible out in the open so he's jumped down straight away and he's shooting at me and you can see now he's more aggressive because he's he, he, he's lost his helmet and then again just keep doing that keep an eye on his health you have to keep watching his health when you're doing this if you're in a fire team and you're doing this you get one person to do this and then the other two as long as this one person aggro uh, keeps the aggro he'll just concentrate on this one person that's jumping backwards and forwards here and you can to a degree, neutralize him. Like I say, if he jumps down to the floor first, don't just wait to see where he goes. If he jumps down to the floor first, then you want to jump. You want to wait until he's jumping up to your platform. As you can see there, when he jumps down to the floor, there's a chance he'll shoot you. If you're already airborne, there's a chance he will kill you. So, now we're going to get our second Lucent, Lucent Hive. So, I'm just going to fire my super... And then that was a really, really bad second shot. And now he's done. He's thrown his uh, grenade. Popped his super, which is cool. And we're just going to stay behind him. Dodge to get Remviz back and then, and then move. Because the, the, the ads we've got up is him and those two knights. Right? So now I'm just tracking him. And the two knights are there with him. So what I'm going to do... Let's go over the other side. I could take some heat. That's more special. It's all good. I just jump over that knight. They're melee knights anyway, so we're going to take this guy here. I broke his shield with the Arbalist, which means the Arbalist gets a 50% damage increase, right? And when you do break the shield, it reloads the RB from reserves. So there's my second. I'm just trying to find this Lucent Knight. I think he went downstairs. I think he's on bottom level. I think. He's over in the middle on the other side opposite to where we are now. Yep, I just seen his, the purple glow of his eyes. So now I'm going to run over here. The knight might have stopped chasing me. Yep, he has. He's down here. He's just down below us. So I could wait and get my smoke back off the dodge, but he's jumped away. I was I was really I can see him now obviously because I'm watching it back but he uh, I remember seeing it even when I was doing it and being like and that's where I've noticed him I remember actually seeing him and being like oh look at you hiding down there right so what I'm gonna have to do here is throw a grenade and then do get the get the invis going and then get out of there. I threw the grenade. 
for any ad that was going to encroach me. So now I'm going to take him out. When I take him out, we should get two more uh, two more sets of champions. Maybe. Can't remember. Or do we get them? Ha oh, no, no. We get them halfway through this wave now. So now what we're going to do is... Uh, this is our thrall. We've got our thrall now. I think I managed to group these quite well. Take these out quite quickly. No, it must have been... Oh, and, and we got that, which is cool because... Uh, we're just going to run over here. I When I done that dodge, I got a, I got a kill on one of those hive, which... Uh, so this is where I grouped them and... And got rid of them all pretty quickly. So it's just me and him for now. It's just me and... And uh, I think there's one thrall left alive. One normal thrall. There's obviously a ton of... ton of... Uh, these cursed thrall. But I think there was one thrall left alive. I'm just... I th I, I'm not sure what I'm trying to do here. There he is. I'm just trying to find out if, it wa if there was just one alive. So now... Uh, I know there's one alive. I don't really want to get involved in in in, in messing about with with the boss too much when there's still a thrall. Because not that the thrall can do me a ton of damage. It's not about the damage. It's about me jumping backwards and forwards and a thrall jumping into me as I'm jumping backwards and forwards. I actually threw my grenade there, hoping that that thrall would follow him up there and jump into it. It wasn't so much to do damage to him. There he is. And there he goes. So now, I'm just going to do the, the smoke. I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to wait here. Try and wait here to get my my dodge. There we go. Got my, got my smoke. Now we can go after him. And get out the next set of champions. You get a bit of an audio cube, but it's 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 50%. Just in case you don't get that. I'm pretty sure you get another set of champions. You get, definitely get another set of thrall. Yep, there's one other set of champions. And we've got a set of thrall and we've got acolytes. So now, straight shot to the end. We've got to clear these enemies. Stay out of the boss's uh, eye. Stay out, of, uh, stay out of the champion's eye. I'll just throw that grenade there, see if we get any picks. Got a couple of throw. Get one dodge while we're doing this. Find out where the boss is because our hand cannon is really good for clearing clearing these uh clearing these throw. Smoke again. I'm really, really pushing it here. And we just managed to get it and I decided just to dodge off the edge. I like to keep my two smoke. Right now. We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> it's it's really hectic at this point because it seems like until you start clearing ads, it seems like you're always being chased. So just now trying to get a look. There's ads on my level. I knew there was ads on my level. So we're going to turn around and see what's there. And we'll just... Dodge and get our, our super back, our, our, our smoke back and throw the grenade. Because the biggest problem... Biggest problem with the thrall is... Uh, the, the, the thrall are kind of... Uh, it seems like to me anyway... That the thrall will run around the map independent of the champions, whereas the acolytes kind of stay with the champions. So even if you can't see, I'm going to take this champion out. Hopefully, even if you can't see uh, the acolytes, we'll dodge here, uh, like uh, quick fall. Even if you can't see the acolytes, as long as you can see the champions, you know where the acolytes are. Whereas the thrall. They kind of just skulk about and, and, and they'll hide. So getting the thrall out the way is is almost it's almost more important than getting the, the acolytes out the way. You can see there the boss must have seen me. And now because the boss has seen me, the champion was kind of like, Oh, he's over there. Let's go get him. Just drop down. 
Another thing I was kind of worried about, because it's probably something that most people don't really think about when they're doing a GM. Because damage, uh, a master or a GM or whatever, because damage is increased, so is, so is fall damage. So be very careful, because I have died from the most ridiculous falls uh, that shouldn't even have damaged me, but because because of the, the activity I'm doing, all damage is increased. So I'm just going to move over here, find out where the boss is. I think the boss might might be, uh, let me just throw a grenade over there. I just want to, see, I, I'm, I'm not really wanting to do anything major. Not while the, if you can't find the boss, I'm going to reiterate this. If you do not know where the boss is, you cannot attack a champion. You need to know where, where your, uh, where your danger is. So there's, there's, there's the champion. I'm just using my emote. There's also an acolyte still up. And the boss is right below us. So I'm going to take the acolyte. And now I can use my emote if I need to, but I didn't. Uh, I actually put an emote on with the express, uh, for the express purpose of, uh, of looking around corners, and it's the one where you've got basically the... I, I don't think I use it actually too much. It's not that one, but <laughs> that was the one I used for it. So I know, know I am. Now I've seen where the boss is over the other side, and th that just... That just reiterated where the boss wasn't here. He's where I want him to be, actually. So now we go right back to Jumpy Jumpy. Uh, it's the emo I, I, I put on was the, the, the one where you were you're basically uh, pushing a swing in the rain and I, I, I but because I'm so used to pressing that emo because I use that not just for what you've seen me use it in a couple of videos I use it in in the tower as well so he's jumping he's jumping up there we've got the thrall was, it was actually really fortuitous that the thrall jumped up there then. Uh, I had a grenade ready for them. Now we just fire our super. I don't think it actually does as much damage as I would have liked, but it doesn't matter. He is almost dead. And when I jump over here, this should be it. And there we go, guys. So, stick and move. Uh, quite... There's a part of me, there was a problem with the Nightfall yesterday, so it didn't change when it should have, so... Uh, I think there are problems with this Nightfall, because that's a Platinum on Master, and I didn't get Nightfall weapon. But to be fair, it, was, it is the Comedian, I believe, so... I never really lost that much. So, stick and move. Don't go anywhere unless... You know, if you're invisible, don't go anywhere, unless you're invisible. Don't attack the Champions unless you know where the, the Knights are, and take the Thrall and the Acolytes out first. And... And, and you should be fine. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.